Greetings, readers of GameZone. My name is Tom Caswell, and I am here with your E3 2016 Sony Press Conference Roundup. Now, after Microsoft's amazing showing this morning, it was clear Sony was going to have to do a lot to make sure that they were still on top. Did they pull it off? Personally, I think so. I think they made it look very easy. But what did you think? Let's jump into the news and find out together. Right out of the gate, we open with the new God of War. Kratos returns, much older and in the world of Norse mythology. This is a Kratos with much more range thanks to the introduction of his supposed son, meaning he isn't as angry all the time and actually shows some emotion. The gameplay between Kratos and his son looks intertwined, allowing for some cool moments. Sony Band finally announced their game. Originally thought to be Dead Don't Ride, it is actually titled Days Gone. Set in an open post-apocalyptic world, it revolves around a member of a bike gang just trying to keep the band together, all the while combating World War Z like zombie hordes. A brief trailer was shown for The Last Guardian, announcing the release date of October 25th and showing that Trico is not the only bird dog in town. Whilst Horizon Zero Dawn has been pushed back till February, that didn't stop Sony from showing off more of the game this time focusing more on the RPG elements such as crafting, surveying, and the world map. We got a better look at Detroit Become Human, showing off the wide range of choices players can make to carve their own path. In the first truly mind-blowing moment of the conference, we opened with a trailer for a game that is supposedly tied to the Kitchen VR demo Sony has used when displaying PlayStation VR. When the trailer closes, it is revealed that this whole time we've been watching footage of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, a game that is fully playable in VR. <sighs> Speaking of virtual reality, Sony then shows off a slew of games for its headset. Farpoint, a first-person shooter that takes place on the surface of Mars. The Star Wars Battlefront experience teased at PSX, where you play as the pilot of an X-Wing. <laughs> Batman Arkham VR, with a trailer showing Batman's suit, with Mark Hamill's Joker providing narration. Rocksteady is indeed involved in the game, it's exclusive to PSVR, and will be out in October. And finally for virtual reality, an experience that ties into September's release of Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> Sony then demos a lengthy gameplay segment of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, with the character jumping from jet into space and back into jet again. The second surprise of the evening was the return of Crash Bandicoot, with the announcement that the original game, Crash 2 and Crash Warped, were all being rebuilt from the ground up, and that Crash would make an appearance in this fall's release of the new Skylanders installment. An extended trailer for the LEGO Star Wars Force Awakens was shown, as well as the news that there would be a playable demo available on PlayStation Network. The next surprise came in the form of Hideo Kojima, who took to the stage to show off what the newly reformed Kojima Productions has been working on. The game is called Death Stranding, and it features a naked Norman Reedus and his ghost oil baby. Oh, and the music is amazing. And the last reveal revolved around everyone's favorite web slinger, who will be coming to a PS4 exclusive game created by Insomniac, not Soccer Punch, like all the rumors were stating. This will be an original story of a more seasoned Spider-Man, separate from the new movies. Sony closed out the show with some Days Gone gameplay. No cringe, 100% games, and a little Hideo Kojima sprinkled on top. Whilst there may not have been any new hardware to show, it's clear there's still so much to be excited about when it comes to the PlayStation 4. Come on!